let's assume your story is 100% true, that she came over there, she lost her temper, she flew off the handle, she shoved you, that's assault by a 53-year-old grandmother. You pulled a gun, what kind of gun was it? That's a nine millimeter. So 53-year-old grandmother shoves you some tape in her hand and you pull out a nine millimeter, shoot her center mass, as you say, and she's dead. It seems to me, that's really poor judgment. Right, she took the risk of grabbing an item, wrapping around her hands and trying to go over my throat. I've gone out of my way to be amicable with everybody. But at some point, I have to, I have to fight for my family. My daughter's paying the ultimate price right now. So this was retaliation? No. Because you're saying you have the right to protect your family. Your family was a thousand miles away in Mexico. Correct. You're not standing in the gap to no, protect your family. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not explaining myself very well. I don't do this all the time. What would you do differently? I don't know if I'd do anything different. So you would do this again? And, I wouldn't do it again because I wouldn't be attacked like that. Nothing is not going to repeat again. Did you want her dead? No. No, if I wanted her dead, I would have filed charges on her when she first came over to assault me. I didn't want her even to go to well, prison. Well, that wouldn't kill her, but pulling a gun shooting even... her center mass, that kills her. That was a reaction, correct, of, upon her actions. Honestly, that guy's lying because there's no way she could have even gone near him. I mean, she's five foot nothing. There, there's just no way she could have done anything to him. And with a roll of tape and with the dog. And then right after he shot her, Scott said he got on the phone, started calling his attorney. Yeah. Who does that? Who does it? This is, he, it he, had, he had some it kind of no plan. Was she known to carry a firearm? No. Was she known to carry a knife? No. Was she known to carry any implement capable of causing death or serious bodily harm? No. The reason she had that tape, she was wrapping presents, right? She had wrapping presents in the back of the car or something? She was wrapping a gift. And yeah, it's not a serrated edge for the tape, it's just a tape, you know? She had the actual tape. There I was not it. even a cutter. Yeah. It's just I, the tape. <laughs> it, it's just an excuse. My question is, you're saying, Given the circumstances as they occurred, you consider what you did to be reasonable. Yeah. You, you, you think this is what a, a reasonable person would do in the same or similar circumstances? I don't want to talk for everybody, but the law applies to everybody, including myself. You could have turned around, walked in the house, picked up the phone and called the police and said, this woman just came on my property and assaulted me. I want her arrested. Ideally, but I didn't have that choice. You believe she would have killed you before you got to the I phone? believe I would have, yes, killed. I would have been on the floor, could have suffered death. What do you think the likelihood was that you would have been killed by this 50-year-old grandmother with a piece of tape? That is something I can't say with a fact. I'm not going to speculate. But you understand you're asking a jury to say that pulling a nine millimeter gun and shooting a woman through the heart is proportionate to a 53 year old grandmother attacking you with a schnauzer and a piece of tape. Well, there was two dogs and... Two dogs and a piece of tape. I would not know that what her intentions were. I just knew that she was attacking me. Well, if you don't know her intentions, then how can you conclude your life is in danger? All I know is my experiences with her in the past. That's all I can go off. Okay, and, and the best predictor of future past. behavior is past behavior. And in 12 years, neither one of them have ever put their hands on you in anger. No.